Tuesday morning to each and every one of you. I almost say Monday. Good Tuesday morning to each and every one of you. Good morning, 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 posse. Good morning to my whole posse near and far. Bless up all your whole cells on this terrific Tuesday morning. It is February 9th, 2021. Happy to have each and every one of you. It was a long weekend for most of you. Hope everybody is good, everybody's safe, everybody was responsible in your celebrations. Hope everybody is righteous this morning. The folks joining us on the GBN Grenada Broadcaster Network's Facebook page, the Grenada Broadcaster Network's YouTube channel, the website www.gbn.gd, GBN TV channel 7, 11, and 20. And of course, good morning to the listeners of Classic 105.5, 105.9, Hot 98.5, 98.7. To the folks joining joining us on GoToFest's Facebook page, bless up all your whole cells this morning. To all the viewers and listeners joining us across the region, an independency, to me, we still in independence, go doga tap, an independency Grenadian 473 morning to each and every one of you. And to the folks joining us across the rest of the world, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Hope you will have a good day, are having a good day, have had a good day. Happy to have each and every one of you starting your Tuesday morning off right with joining us on here on the Good Morning Grenada program always a pleasure as we get this day started let's start with the word of the day a little bit of education goes a long way this morning's word of the day this morning's word of the day is absolve absolve a b s o l v e absolve it's a verb which means to set someone free from an obligation or the consequences of guilt or to pardon or forgive a sin usually as a sacrament absolve the act of absolving can be seen as releasing someone from blame or sp- sin or loosening the hold that responsibility has on a person which provides a hint about the word's origin absolve was adopted into Middle English in the 15th century from the Latin verb absolvere, formed by combining the prefix ab, which is from, away or off, with solvere, meaning to loosen. Absolve also once had additional senses of to finish or accomplish and to resolve or explain, but they are now obsolete. Solvere is also the ancestor of the English word solve, dissolve, resolve, solvent, and solution. This morning's word of the day is absolve, A-B-S-O-L-V-E, a verb which means to set someone free from an obligation or the consequences of guilt or to pardon or forgive a sin, usually as a sacrament. An example of the use of the word, if descendants cannot be found, the church is hopeful that courts will legally absolve them from having to do so and the land transfer can move forward. Word of the day, absolve, A-B-S-O-L-V-E, a verb which means to set someone free from an obligation or the consequences of guilt, to pardon or forgive a sin, usually as a sacrament. And this morning's thought of the day comes from the late Winston Churchill, and it says, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it's the courage to continue that counts. Success is not final, failure is not fatal, it's the courage to continue that counts. Even if you stumble a little bit, keep going, keep pushing, dust yourself off and try again. Just keep pushing, keep moving forward, it's the courage to continue that counts. Once you have the free will, the mindset, the tenacity, uh, the encouragement, the personal growth that you want to achieve, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. All right, let's see what's celebrated today. Today, today. Anytime I giggle, so all you know, food involved. <laughs> it is pizza day. Pizza day. I tell all you, everything has a day. It is pizza day today. It's your time to get your pizza eating game on. A whole day, 24 hours to celebrate this yummy carb that almost no one can do without. From the humble beginning to today's gourmet offerings, pizza has captured the heart and stomachs of people around the globe. Do you like the traditional cheese and pepperoni? Are you more adventurous and need to show that in your pizza toppings? Now is the time to show the world. It's pizza day today, so set up all yourself right. Whether it's a slice or a whole pizza pie 
get it together all right y'all don't need to shout I'll, I'll indulge okay i'll break the diet today for pizza day you know don't stop shouting at me i got it i got the message blossom will eat a pizza today calm down you know what i'm saying i don't know what toppings i'll use yet but um my mouth already drooling thinking about the fantastic indulgences i'm about to participate just not pineapple on pizza pineapple on pizza mm -mm. i'm saying it pineapple don't belong on pizza beat me beat me i don't know how oh, are they doing it but i can't i can't say all right just before we go to the break i have um some information if you're not not aware as yet uh the classic fm actually gbn is broadcasting the matches of the cg insurance west in the super 50 soup uh cup the cricket tournament uh, that started on sunday we started broadcasting matches from sunday and the broadcast continues up until the 27th of this month so GBN, specifically Classic FM, will be broadcasting matches of the Super 50 tournament. The Windward Islands is the team that we need to be watching carefully. That's where um, our boys are, the Grenadian players are. That's the team they are a part of. And those players include Emmanuel Stewart, Andre Fletcher, uh, Roland Cato, Preston McSween, Ryan John, they are on the Windward Island Volcanoes team. So that's the team we're keeping our eye on. They won their opening game on Sunday against the Leeward Islands. So right now they are in second on the table, only behind Guyana, who also won their match. I think it was yesterday. So let's keep an eye on that. And we will broadcast the matches here on Classic. Most of the matches are at 1.30 p.m. Some of them are at 9 a.m. But of course, I'll keep you updated to the schedule as the, the tournament continues. There are no matches scheduled for today, but tomorrow, God willing, there's a match at 1.30. And I'll let you know tomorrow, God willing, who's playing and who to keep your eye on. So the Super 50 Cricket Tournament on Classic 105.5, 105.9. Now let's get ready for the morning edition of news and a repeat or highlights of last evening's newscast. This is Good Morning Grenada on a terrific Tuesday. Stick and stay. We'll be right back. People of Karakou and Piti Martinique, and by extension Grenada, are mourning the death of former government minister Mr. Elvin Nimrod, who passed away on the weekend. His death comes one day before the country celebrated its 47th anniversary of independence. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell paid respect to one of the men who stood resolutely by his political side for decades. After battling a period of illness, former government minister Mr. Elvin Nimrod passed away on Saturday. In conveying his condolence, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell paid tribute to a man he considered his brother. My heartfelt condolences to the family of the late Elvin Nimrod, who bid us farewell yesterday morning around 10 a.m. I know our sisters and brothers in Karakou and Piti Martinique are particularly aggrieved by his passing. Prime Minister Mitchell recalled Mr. Nimrod's contributions. Brother Nimrod, gave human services to our beloved country, holding various portfolio, portfolios in government and serving as a member of parliament for over two decades. In addition to Reverend James's comments about his various responsibilities. He also served as Deputy Prime Minister for about seven years in the government. Elvin G. Nimrod was born on the 27th of August, 1943, and raised on the island of Kariakou. 
In 1995, Nimrod entered the political arena and selected the constituency of Kariaku and Piti Mortnik to launch his political career. Two years later, he was appointed to the Senate. In January 1999, he was elected on a new National Party ticket and became the parliamentary representative for the constituency of Kariaku and Piti Mortnik. In June of 2017, Mr. Nimrod closed the political door to frontline politics, telling party members, some of you may have remembered that in the last couple of years, I have been saying that no king reigns forever, and anyone who thinks that he can is fooling himself. Those words he said before retreating into a quiet life. A minute of silence was observed in remembrance of the late former government minister, Mr. Elvin Nimrod, during Grenada's 47th anniversary of independence ceremony at the National Stadium on Sunday. Particulars regarding his funeral arrangements are not yet disclosed. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, Chibian News. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell calls for the establishment of a social fund to assist people impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic promising no government involvement in its handling. One of his deliveries on the anniversary of Grenada's 47th independence. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell says the impact of COVID-19 on people's lives keeps them up at night. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to negatively impact the country's economy, the Prime Minister, in his national address to mark Grenada's 47th anniversary of independence, proposed an idea he believes can help people in need. I plan to present a proposal to our social partners and by implication the country for the creation of a social fund that will be used to help the most vulnerable in our society the concept is that every one of us who is working will contribute to this fund i would lead by example contributing a portion far above anyone else of my salary every month to help those in need and i'll be encouraging my cabinet colleagues to do the same similarly i would be encouraging everyone who's able to make a contribution to do so sisters and brothers we are not going to parliament to mandate anything our conscience should be our mandate. It is simply a suggestion made in trying to come, come up with creative ways to help those who are in need. He spoke about the pleas he received for assistance over the past few months. The pain out there is real. Some people have been without jobs for almost a year. In the tourism sector alone, that number has been over 2,000 persons. It's real. Can we help them all? I ask. It may not be possible. But we still must try. He enforced the idea to practice true Christianity by showing compassion to those in need and hastily added that government ministers would not have any dealings with the management of this fund if established. If this fund is succeed in being started as I wish, Members of government will have no involvement in implementing this fund. The way I envisage it, the social partners will establish an independent committee to manage and disburse these funds acquired through this effort. Any beneficiary of this initiative must be someone with justifiable need, it will be verified. Joseph Cador, GBN News. It was a close run for the top four finalists in the Independence Calypso competition on Friday night, with seven points separating them. However, Sean Niles was crowned on the night. 
For the first time, patrons had no choice but to view the competition via virtual means. Details in this report. Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, I'm begging you want favor when you make him the vaccine for Grenada. Three years in a row, the crown has once again returned to the head of Sean Niles' sour serpent. Niles walked away with the title of the 2021 Independence Calypso Monarch Friday night, defeating nine contenders. He amassed a total of 87.2 points. Niles' rendition of a vaccine nation captivated the judges, giving him a lead of almost three points ahead of second place, Phil and Lee Jeffrey, with his score of 84.8 points. He spoke on his accomplishment. Well, um, it's a sense of accomplishment. I mean, this is my fifth independence monarch on the backs of the um, my first the Mar um, national Calypso title. So it feels um, good, you know. Not there's no perfect situation, but I am I am happy about it. Okay. I don't think about my performance. I was quite comfortable. I went out to do what I set out to do, and I was accomplished. Um, you might be asking me for my opinion on the other Calypsonians. I think everybody did a fantastic job. Um, the composition of the Calypsos could be improved. But, you know, we are... We, we, we are work in progress, so to speak. So we are going to get better from time to time. Niles, who spoke to GBN via telephone on Saturday, says, should there be a carnival competition this year, he is ready. I don't spend a minute with, um, without composing, without having Calypso right at my at my fingertips or at the tip of my tongue or at the forefront of my head, you know. Um, and I can do nothing about it. It's a, it, has an, it, it is an unconscious um, emotion, right? So from the time I wake up in the morning, things would hit me. Uh, before I go to bed, things would hit me. Uh, when I come, when I wake up, things hit me. So it's constant, um, constant action. So yes, anytime if there's a calypso commission tomorrow, I'm, I am ready. Third place went to Sheldon Douglas, and in position number four, Anthony Darius, who made a comeback after taking a 10-year break from the arena. There's a taste of Friday night's top four performances. Put something in the vaccine, so we'll go back to being pro. Whenever I'm young playing, there would be reverence in the crowd. Yes, I want you to put something in the vaccine. So when Grenadians go to vote, every time we do sing in the anthem, oh Lord, oh Lord, we pledge our heads, our hearts and hands. And that there would be unification, oh Lord, oh Lord. We challenge in times really demands that we know more than ever. Of country is the key and accountability to build a nation. We ain't working for eyes to see, just for pleasing you and me to build this nation. Though the road is rough, we got to show the world that we tough. We cannot sit back. And let this country go down. We all got Christina John, GBN News. The National Celebrations Committee hosted Grenada's Independence Cultural Extravaganza on Saturday at the National Stadium. It was an event riddled with cultural performances. Over the years, the event has been held in St. Andrew, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic limiting all independence activities to a virtual platform, one stage was set up in St. George to facilitate all events. The show included a range of musicians, young and old, singing, traditional dancing, cultural drumming, drama, pan playing, poetry, and a host of other presentations from acts across the Tri-Island. Here are some highlights of Saturday's event.
Clamohorn. But then had my name stolen from me as Europeans fought for control of me. Greedy hands with selfish in intentions in contention for years. My Amerindians in tears, choosing death over capture, leaping to the tombs in murky water. Then I became Spanish. Not just beautiful bitch, or a quality and that's rich. You'll enjoy your friendship. History, takes their mass and big drum dance. Marwan fans, regatta, and tombstone feast that you all cannot miss. You have to come to see that. Sandy Island, Jaka Dam, and White Island. So much talent. The case involving Evan Smith, who was allegedly assaulted by an Irish couple in Fort Judy last June, is far from over, as the case is expected to go back to court next Monday. Donald Kavanagh and Sarah Hutton would charge for the offense of causing harm after being accused of beating a local black man, Evan Smith, who ran over and killed their four-year-old dog, Herbie. The case has sparked racial tensions across the country, and the governor has been the subject of protest in which hundreds of people chanted, no justice, no peace, while carrying signs reading, Black Lives Matter, and not in my Grenada. The couple made their first court appearance about one month after the incident, but the matter was adjourned until February 15th, as the legal files were not available at the time. The governor are currently on $10,000 bail each and are represented by attorney at law, Ali Gill. Christina John, GBN News. A giant boulder dislodged from a slope and made its way into the middle of the main road at Bailey's Backlet in St. David on the Redgate Stretch on Sunday. There were no reports of injury or damage to property. Over the past two months, massive boulders have become a source of concern for residents and motorists throughout the country. Last month, a huge boulder dislodged from the hillside and destroyed two homes in St. John. No one was injured. Shortly thereafter, residents at Bellevue in St. David called for the removal of a massive boulder. The affair is a danger to pedestrians and motorists. Caracou's hotel sector will soon experience a boost in room numbers as phase one of the island's Cascada Bay Resort nears completion. The project, scheduled to complete this year, is expected to benefit the island in many ways. More in this report from Chalana Charles. The Casada Bay Resort in Karikou is the island's newest hotel development. Even with the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, phase one is on track and the hotel is expected to be open to visitors and locals in April 2021. Soon after, phase two will begin. The site, which was once a marine college during Grenada's revolution, is a waterfront property. The resort's project manager and consultant, Sterling Hennessy, said in addition to catching fresh seafood which will be used by the resort's restaurant, they intend to develop the seaside area as part of the resort's attractions. We're putting the jetty back and hoping that when we open, we will, uh, we're working on getting some mooring balls outside the bar. Then we want to install a, a real safe uh, dinghy dock for the Aussies and whoever needs to, uh, to come in once we're, once we're open. Um, also hoping to have probably diving, snorkeling, maybe some fishing trips that will open it up. 
said the resort is expected to provide employment to many unemployed individuals across the island upon the completion of the first phase and the start of the second phase. We will need staff. You'll need. We have security on site now. We have people here working. We have more people down below painting and maintenance will. On, on an area this big will always go on, so you're gonna need people for that. You'll need people for dinghy docks and, and a dive center, and there will be, there will be a number of staff, like I'm, I'm sure there'll be 10 to 15, and maybe when uh, the chalets are built down the road, then there's more housekeeping, there's laundry, there's more staff needed. Hennessy said while construction is going on, they have made it a point to support the local economy as much as possible by using locally made products. All the beds, um, they've been built in Karakou here for, for the houses. We had them built in Hillsborough. So um, we've been using as much as we can for the people here. Um, like our block and cement and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of the lumber came from outside, but that's normal. Um, that was shipped in. Uh, but the rest, rest of everything is pretty well uh, between Grenada and here. It'll come on the ferry, uh, electrical supplies, AC and, and air, all that, Grenada. Phase one consists of two three-bedroom structures and a restaurant and bar, while phase two of the project will see the construction of 15 two-bedroom chalets. Reporting from Casada Bay Resort in Karakou, I'm Trelana Charles. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced changes in many aspects of daily life. And when it comes to imparting knowledge, that too has seen changes. To curb the spread of the deadly virus, educators were forced to institute online learning thereby bringing teachers and students together virtually. And while investing in technology is seen as a step in the right direction, one regional leader is calling for equal attention to be given to teaching and learning. We get more in this report. Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didikas Jules, is calling on education ministers in the sub-regional grouping to collaborate to make education more sustainable in the future. Noting regional governments' investments in technology to cope with the changes brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, he said it is equally important to invest in technology as it is equally important to collaborate to make teaching and learning more sustainable. He said to fast-track the digital learning agenda in member countries, there must be changes to the framework with which education institutions operate. We must embrace the opportunities that ICT provides and act now to provide the right policy framework, the enabling environment, and the stimulus that can introduce innovative learning and teaching practices. An open innovation framework is central to this objective and has demonstrated proven success in removing barriers and making learning accessible, abundant, and customizable. Embracing open innovation in education will remove obstacles to digital education in cost, geography, time, and entry requirements by giving all learners the opportunity to access education resources at a lower or nearly no cost and in a flexible way. Extremely important considerations in the context of the vulnerabilities faced by OECS member states today. Dr. Jules was addressing the Sixth Council of Ministers of Education meeting hosted by St. Lucia last Thursday and Friday, which was attended by Grenada's Minister for Education, Emmeline Pear. She commended regional leaders for their collaborative effort. I believe over the past two days, we have really looked at some critical areas for the continued advancement and development of the education sector in the region. And I have full confidence in the team at the OECS Secretariat that they would continue to work with us as ministers um, to ensure that our goals, our aspiration, all of those dreams that we have for a better region, a better people through education, I believe that those can be accomplished. And so we rely, continue to rely on the support of everyone to make this a reality. 
The virtual two-day meeting focused on sustainable education, collaborative policies, and practices for the future. OECS communication specialist Alicia Ali spoke about the inclusion of the youth voices during the meeting that highlighted their concerns with the education system and also made recommendations. These recommendations were discussed during this two-day meeting. The youth recommendations to the ministers included the need to modernize classrooms, incorporate digital literacies, and endorse youth groups and councils. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, Chibian News. The Ministry of Health says it plans to decentralize some of the services only offered at the General Hospital. Minister for Hospital and Community Health Services Delma Thomas during last week's post-cabinet briefing spoke of the services to be extended in the communities as part of the government's effort to improve community health services. Many of the services we have now, they all are provided in the capital. And so people have to live across even Kiariku to come to Grenada to get some tests. We are in the process, a phased approach. It's a different period, but government is committed to ensuring that whatever revenue they have is placed in for healthcare. Even if it's been cut in some other areas, we are ensuring that we provide because health is too fragile. It cannot wait like a road or a school or any other thing. Minister Thomas said the plan to decentralize health services will be done in a phased approach. Princess Royal in Kiariku, Princess Alice in St. Andrew, and St. Patrick Medical Center will have gynae and OBGYN clinics there in, in, in those three locations in, on a phase approach to community health services. We'll continue our general medicine. There'll be ophthalmology services provided in, in those three sites. We'll have pediatric services also provided in those three sites starting from February. Then we'll look at the other services in those sites. We are also looking at St. David in terms of bringing those same services there. We are working with the Ministry of Works at present to get the scope of work because there's some infrastructure work that must be done before we can have these services implemented there and we are working on that now. She said that with the procurement of equipment and training of hospital staff, there is hope for the health sector. COVID-19 and the pandemic would have shown us that we have to invest more into our health care because the alternative sources we had because of lockdown in, in other countries like Cuba and other areas, we weren't able to get medical assistance for families and therefore we have to look in, within to ensure that we provide specialization and to get specialists to come in on island to deal with some of those issues that confront our um, citizens of our country and so we are continuing last year the cabinet approved some of the equipment that were identified as needed by the hospital and purchased and so we have a lot of new equipment for the surgical department urologists and peds and all other departments we received them in december there are some additional equipment that was procured and purchased by um, one of our other award sponsor and so we are, should be here shortly. And now we turn our attention to what has been creating a buzz on social media. Trelana Charles has been looking around the platforms. This is Social Buzz, where we shine a light on the thoughts and concerns of our online audience. The Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association has warned that the region's economic survival is in serious jeopardy as the tourism-dependent economies struggle with the consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic. Last weekend, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced that Air Canada, WestJet, Songwing and Air Transat have agreed to suspend services to some destinations right away and will be making arrangements with their customers who are in those regions regions now to organize flights home. Our audience give their input on the topic. Darrell commented the USA is a cesspit of COVID. They are not dealing with COVID at all. You want them bringing more positive virus cases to Grenada? 
then added Diversify. Creates local products for both export and domestic purchase. Creates more agricultural spin-offs. Be creative. Gladlina commented agreed. Stronger trading must be done among the islands like they do in other regions around the world. The Kate had a lot to say. She said tourism is affected around the world. Many factors are involved. Loss of tour operators, reduced flights, loss of airlines, the spread of coronavirus. Grenada and so many Caribbean islands have a wealth of natural resources. They have relied upon tourism for too long. It is time now for governments to invest in the people and their island. When I first began visiting the Caribbean over 40 years ago, many islands grew bananas, coconut, and other fruits and vegetables. Most people grew a few staples in their own yard. Many were self-sufficient. Tourism benefits the few, not the majority of people. Time to turn back the clock and encourage the next generation. That's it for tonight's social buzz. If you would like to have your thoughts and concerns shared, be sure to comment on GBN's Facebook page. From the thought process to the visual impact, it's time to take a peek through the GBN ISO lens. In tonight's ISO, we feature officers of the Royal Grenada Police Force doing the Jerusalem dance during the National Independence Day Parade on Sunday. Joining in with the police band here for I'm Jerusalem. I'm sure they are. I'm I sure saw. they are. <laughs> I'm sure they are at home, at the offices, wherever they are. They are doing it. You can see the welcomed feature to the order of events. The song Jerusalem went viral during the isolation and loss caused by COVID-19 lockdowns worldwide. The dance created as a result of the song resonated with people across the world. Send us your photo and video submissions via WhatsApp on 4053052 or our other social media platforms. How going on, boy? Hey, hey, good old things. Hey, easy. Yeah. Boy, line, boy. How's looking a real good day? Boy, it's thanks to the hardworking and professional staff at the Housing Authority of Grenada. They handed me real nice. They did my plan, they did the construction, and I didn't even have to worry about a thing. They were there with me every step of the way, supervising the job, asking me about my concerns, giving me feedback as the house took shape. They were there from start to finish, and even put the keys in the palm of my hand. I give them an A++ for customer service. Oh, it's people from housing bad boy. Boy, not bad. Excellent. If you're thinking about constructing your home, why not consult the Housing Authority of Grenada? You could visit them right down in the Sandino complex or give them a call 440-1015 or 440-1016 or check out their website hag473.com They go handle you, they go jog your blocks, they go draw your plan, they go tote your materials <laughs> Hey man, where you going? The Housing Authority of Grenada is your choice for affordable housing and a stress-free construction experience Total is one of the world's largest oil companies with a top quality line of lubricants. Total Lubricants has a full product line from passenger cars, motorcycle, heavy industrial equipment, mining, trucking, agriculture, and manufacturing machines and vehicles. Total Lubricants, winning championships in motorsports, including Formula One and World Rally Championships. Total Lubricants are available at all Rubis service stations, leading automotive shops, and distributed by Huggins. Do you know what time it is? You guessed right, it's detox time again. At 
Nirvana Natural Health Clinic, Detox Center, and Natural Health Store. Purchase our seven-day cleansing pack for only $500. Includes everything you need for a complete total body cleanse. Cleanse your blood, kidney, liver, and colon. This cleanse will help you lighten up and get rid of the excess. Also available are our special product detox combo pack for only $100. Try our single detox products starting from $40. Check us out now. Belmont St. George's, close to the Fall Edge area. Or call us on 231-6642-449-7753 or 418-7115. Nirvana Natural Health Clinic, Detox Center, and Natural Health Store. Detox, your way to health. Imagine your day without having to wait in line, without having to write at every store, without touching the pen everyone else used, having your info exposed to everyone. Sounds great, huh? Well, it's possible. Here is Tedda. With Tedda, you download once, register once, and just scan to check in everywhere. No hassle, no forms, no hold up. Simple and easy. Tedda lets you explore, discover new places, new products, and new experiences. What are you waiting for? Get Tether for free from your app store today and enjoy contactless convenience. I'm reaching my dreams with GOT. They're the ones for me. I'm reaching my dreams with GOT. They're the ones for me. Since 1983, they've been solving the country and we like all their finance and giving the people what they want, what they need, what they love. Join the family that's here for you all the way From birth to graduation Your first job to your home and your car Through your golden years The GT Credit Union has been actively supporting nation building Through its many sponsorships and programs Including financial literacy quiz Pass the Torch Calypso program Junior cooperatives in secondary schools CPEA and the Time CC grants The Credit Union has helped many people make their dreams come true let them help you with yours. You don't have to be a teacher to be a member. So what are you waiting for? GUT Credit Union It's where you belong I have to make it I have to make it I want to make it Having a good laugh at myself. <laughs> if y'all only see the things that go on behind the camera, Lord, I've come to the conclusion. Blossom, you are a real girl, you know. <laughs> Confession is good for the soul. All right, welcome back to Good Morning Grenada. Happy to have you. Those of you just joining us, thank you for joining us. And those of you who stuck with us, thank you for your patience. It's Good Morning Grenada. This morning, we're going to talk the things. We're talking the things this morning. Yesterday, I gave away some gifts from our independence quiz. I have to double check my um, my inventory. Oh, good. Do an inventory check. Um, I should still have some stuff, but I need to verify what I have, how much I have, to know if and when I can give them away. I might give them away in a Valentine's quiz. What if I? Don't worry, we'll figure it out. I'm not keeping it. I'm going to give it away in some way, shape, or form. Maybe somebody who gives me the first compliment of the day. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Blossom likes to wing it. Let's see what happens for the rest of the week. But I should still have some stuff. We'll give it away later on in the week. But this morning, it's Talk the Things Tuesday. Talk the Things Tuesday. The topic this morning, that look like Tanti. The topic this morning, we're going to talk. We've just concluded our celebrations for Grenada's 47th year as an independent nation. And to close it off, I want to hear from our viewers and listeners. What do you think has been Grenada's greatest accomplishment over the past 47 years? And one area you think needs improvement. Grenada's greatest accomplishment over the past 47 years since becoming an independent nation and what one area that you think needs improvement. That's what we're going to talk the things about this morning. What you're saying, what you're thinking, what you're talking. Landline 435-2041. The WhatsApp number is also 435-2041. Please, only written messages on WhatsApp. I beg oh. 
Only written messages on WhatsApp. No voice or video calls. No voice notes. No YouTube links. No videos or pictures. Only written messages, numbers and letters. You can also share your thoughts on the GBN, Grenada Broadcasting Network's Facebook page and the Grenada Broadcasting Network's YouTube channel. Over the past 47 years, what would you say has been Grenada's greatest accomplishment and what is the one area that you think needs improvement? Good morning, Cola. Good morning, my darling. Good morning, Tanti. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? I'm good. Great. How was the long weekend? The weekend was okay. I, st- ah, I was still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Good morning, you were there. Yes, I was but here. But I didn't come out with you. I just want to wish you a blessed, blessed day today and take care of yourself when you're here. And remember, Tanti, in all your prayers, remember, Tanti is there for you. You love her and she love you. And your loving mom, give her love for me. And your loving husband and daughter. You live as one happy family. Live for Jesus. Remember, keep on praying. We need him. We need him more than ever. Just trust in him and have faith in him and he will secure us from the coronavirus. He's going to keep us close to him. Just wait on him. The Lord said, wait on the Lord and he will help us with our needs. Okay. Bless you, Blossom. Have a loving day. Thanks, you too. Bless you, sweet. I love you, love you. Love, love, love. Give mom love for me. I shall. All right, bye. All right. What do you think has been Grenada, the island, the country? It's people. What do you think has been the greatest accomplishment of the last 47 years? And what is the one area you think needs improvement? Good morning, caller. Good morning, my wonderful daughter. Good morning, how you do? Good morning, 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 good morning. Are you easy? Are you good? Thank you. You're happy and nice, man. Thank you very much. No, we are a small nation. We started kind of down from the big from sleep. We come from sleep before, sir. Eh? And we come up from there and we should reach and thing. We should send the food and thing. We had a little problem. We sent the food independent. But we had to put up the, 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 the flag on the way with mass and two and the crew and thing. And we had to strike in any case, you know. But our international airport is a big one. We should give you a start. Give you a plan to build in any case. And PSG come in the power and end up continually and follow this, this setting and do it in any case. We have this stadium now, which is second, I mean, with a, a nice setting just to have, I mean, project. I mean, I don't have programming in the stadium, plans in the stadium, I mean, you can make money. That could build anything for you. We have a national stadium and the athletic stadium could do anything for you. Could build anything for you, along your activity inside it. You have to keep it occupied, you know? And we have the external mall. The like three biggest projects are in any case. And a lot of people, up, I mean, lifestyle live a lot better than, 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 than the past. The lifestyle of Grenadians now, you can see every Grenadian have a motor car, they have nice homes and everything. All them things take part of them from there, because it's from Gary Fong, where we came from. Because Gary is the only man who fought slavery with a Grenada. Give Jackie Jacket, I mean, people recognize that. Gary fought slavery with no gun. He fought the white man, or he fight them, or he fight them until he get them on Grenada, the blanks to Grenadians. We had, we had our, our electrical plant and thing in any case too, all that was a great thing for we. We were sold to, to a foreigner in any case for all the years and things. I mean, to say we get it back, I mean, you know, but we still appreciate that in any case. What is Greenland own? Okay. Greenland belongs like belongs to Grenada. Our airport is Greenland own. You need upgrading right now, as far as they say. Some people find you need know, to you know, do the wrong way and to forget the balance. No, we're not upgrading up to the best. Greenland, like, give it time, eh? Greenland, give it like everything that's for Greenland, you know? Everything nice for Grenada. Anything that comes from any part of the world, comes back to Grenada first. The three years come, example. Okay. So, bless Grenada. We, we come back good from where we come from. All right. From World Flow to, to Concrete House now, come back good with that. Thank you so much. Bless you. Nice. All right. Thank you very much, Carla. Talk the Things Tuesday. What do you think has been Grenada's biggest accomplishment of the fa- past 47 years? And one area you think needs improvement. Good morning, Carla. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm great. How you do? Well, I'm all right, you know. All right. Stay all right. Go ahead. Yes, you see. Um, bless him. Tell me. I don't see Grenada of, um, establish nothing. For the, for, the, for, the, for the 47 years, we get independence. The person, the leader, what should make Grenada look like something? It's got what we tell. They do not, they do not do nothing for the people. They look, look for the 47 years. They don't have a factory. Neither nothing put up. Nothing, nothing put up and, 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 and this and that. No. I come in with the 
with the teacher, with the, with the, with the public servants. The public servants are asking for, for the four percent. Give them the four percent. The money, Kodbatek and King with with with, with Green Lake. That we should think the, the public workers with. It is a shame and disgrace. I want to tell the people in Grenada that I can't be the man next. How caught up on them 2013. They feel it. 2018, they go back and have caught up on them more. When 2023 reach, I only hope they do the right thing. Free up Grenada people. People free up Grenada. Grenada is below sea level. Have a nice oh, day. Thank you. Bye. You too. Enjoy your day today as well. 47 years as an independent nation. Before I go on, I just want to uh, send a special good morning, hail up the posse that I saw in the bus last night in Mount Hartman. My country folks, I only didn't tell me which part of the country only come at all, I just say country people. But bless up all your whole self, hope you all got home safely um, and you all have a good start to the day. Good morning to the bus, bus of people, let's call them the bus of people that I saw last night in Mount Hartman. Bless up all yourself. Let's go. Greatest accomplishment of the last 47 years and one area you think needs improvement. Good morning, caller. Good morning, Blossom. Morning. How are you? I'm great. How you do? Okay. Well, for me, one are talking about improvement, right? Because when, when I look around, going here, like, there's too many, too much wastage going on. I will tell you one simple thing. I go to the washroom in Esplanade since last month. One dollar to go in the toilet. The pipe running constantly. I went to the ladies and tell them, look at this thing running. Get somebody to fix it. I went back there in February here, and it still happened, running day and night. How one dollar could pay for this water bill for government? Too many wasted going on in Grenada. Listen, we have fouls. They are, they're creating a lot of fall farm. Can we create a factory to produce feed in Grenada? We have pumpkin spoiling. The fouls teach us all the things that we could do, you know, mango spoiling. Pumpkins spoiling, we have peas, we have corn, we have we have all breadfruit spoiling, we have all the stuff that's spoiling. Waste from the kitchens. Can we find a way of collecting these things and make a factory for animal feed? Just create one factory. If we have a hundred and fifty birds like what we call chickens and we could produce a feed for a hundred and we just had to input for 50 will be a lot better off look the guy even taking the fish gill the fish gill and mix it and make feed all these things too many things wasting in grenada we've got it we got to get get more creative and more productive we're not looking for everything to come from a brother brother abroad. the same feed had to come from a board they are taking fall from a board what if the people will do they let you build up a whole stock of animals and then they, they feed this they themselves have to sell the feed to you themselves selling birds they go they will cramp you with your feed so all your millions of birds will stay and starve and they and they cramp you with the feed another thing i look at for the single calypso for for independence i don't hear the only two people i see try something close for independence is the guy that operate like the farmer and the lady that's with the um the grenada color the flag of the flag colors of the flag then this thing about covid covid and dr keith and um all the call it um the man steel there's nothing you have to think a more creative song about the the country the crops and a same carnival tempo tempo calypso this is not calm this is not independent song independent song is a more creative something okay. human them. thank you thank you very much thank you very much caller let me go to the social media somebody's on on whatsapp somebody on whatsapp says greatest accomplishment education needs improvement health care why would you say education has been the greatest accomplishment Another WhatsApper says the greatest, Grenada's greatest achievement is the sale of its assets and the giveaway of its resources, which taxpayers are paying, and the continuous gross disrespect of us Grenadians by the ruler who thinks he is above the almighty God. The greatest achievement or the area that needs improvement? Or you're being sarcastic? Hmm. 
Good morning, Paula. Good morning, my darling sister Blossom. Good morning, Miss Jacob. How you do? Well, how are you? I have to tell me how my mother do. So mommy I is good. I do. Mommy is good. 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 So long, mommy good. Yes. I just, I just been a wonderful, blessed. Independence, yes, I did. All right, I oh. did spin it. Good. And I want to send up a little sympathy for Kerry Cooper. Oh, my God. My wonderful brother died. Thy brother Nimrod. So I want to send out a little sympathy for Kerry Cooper and Pity McNick. And for behalf of me. And behalf. So what is the topic this morning? I just come in, you know. I realize. Grenada's greatest achievement over the past 47 years and an area you think needs improvement. Well, Grenada, greatest achievement. Well, what I know, my days, who brings something good for us for the past 45, 47 years? It's the honorable doctor Kitney Chair because he put, he don't have no, he don't have no road that you could see he have a dead end now. And he walked properly with Uncle Gary. Uncle Gary started and the time of Uncle Gary when he had seen that flag, I was under the light. You know, children come forth and then senior citizens. And don't know the rest. I think it wasn't in dark, but the whole country was under darkness. You know, they wait till the seventh of February when Uncle Gary get the thing. You see, let me tell you something. I know when you see a following people are going at the top, not going at the bottom. Because if I stay in the bottom, too much wind, everything go blow away, and every time thing come to me, don't have taste. The food don't have no taste. So I like to be in the town. Uncle Gary, not to say Uncle Gary, two of them go to sign the for to get the thing. Eh? Please come back and say, who's going to that? Going to that one, not going to one get it, this, that, and the other. That day when the plane land on Kogiri in the airport up there, you know, go. Well, our, our, our lady down here was Lancia Judge. Yeah, yeah. She that was made the boss and everything. And we go up to meet him. Yes, we go and meet him. Okay. In the airport. And the thing is. <laughs> I don't like to hear how some people get in on, especially the opposition. The opposition and them though, opposition before in place and give um, time. They used to get on and not to say everybody, everybody kick and tongue was by. Okay. But this one was, this opposition are raining what? If, that, if, if you go to raise your food, they're telling you don't do raise your left foot. So, Tanti Blossom, you keep up your wonderful and your blessed day. Thank you, Miss Jacob. Give Have a good day. Give hug and a kiss for me. I will do that. <laughs> okay, All Peter. Right. Bye -bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Grenada's greatest accomplishment over the past 47 years and one area you believe needs improvement. Let me see. Somebody on WhatsApp. Somebody on WhatsApp says... Achievement, it's human resource development, health personnel, etc. Improvement is needed in human resource auditing, food security, etc. Good morning, caller. Good morning. Morning, how you do? Hi, all right, for the time. All right, go ahead. I'm calling to, to, to the Prime Minister. The signing book and people phone number and everything, people getting call. And he's not good enough. If he likes the nation, he will stop it. So asking him, please, stop it for me, please. I'm getting phone call and I don't know who it is. Wait, what do you mean you're getting... Hello? Okay. What do you mean you're getting phone call in here? So some... Okay, when I ask them where they get this number, it's in the book. So you must be where you go and sign your phone number and then. Right? 
because you have people behind you, they see it, and they call in you. And they're not good enough. No one knows what they could do, come and do you in the night. Because they could call you. No one knows what they could do after. So I'm asking him, please, if he could stop it. Okay. Okay. Understood. Thank you. It's a concern I have as well, caller. So we're thinking alike. And not just your phone number, but your address as well. Your business on the streets. And heaven knows what they're doing with the book when it's full. They threw it straight in the garbage, so anybody could go in the garbage and pick it up. I share your concern. I share your concern. Um, I understand why it's needed. I understand why it's necessary. Don't get me wrong. I get it. Um, but it's just, it's dangerous. It is dangerous. Um, right, let me go back to WhatsApp. Somebody on WhatsApp says... The greatest accomplishment over the past 47 years is Uncle Gary's SGU, St. George's University. Another WhatsApp says improvements in homes, cars, and we need good roads. These days, our roads are deplorable. Improvements are needed in housing and cars, but the road is bad. Let me go to another WhatsApp before I go back to the landline. Somebody says, to be honest, 47 years of independence, we have not accomplished anything. We need to put Jesus Christ first as head of our nation and receive his leading and direction. Good morning, caller. Good morning, Boston. Morning, how you do? Pretty good. All right, go ahead. Our international report. But to see what needs improvement, everything needs improvement. But I can't, I can't choose one above the other. Understood. Thank you. All right. Understood. Let me read this final WhatsApp comment before we take the break. Somebody on WhatsApp says, I said education. So this is a person that said the greatest accomplishment is education. I said education because post-1974, we all got an opportunity to education, primary, secondary, etc., which in return improved our standard of living. All right, let's take a break, and then we're going to come back and continue with Talk the Things Tuesday, looking back and reflecting on Grenada's 47 years of independence as we uh, close off this year's celebrations. This is Good Morning Grenada, classic GBN Hot 98. We'll be right back. Sometimes when I go to a foreign country, such as the United States with so wealthy, I don't beg the father to have some mercy. When I see madness in society, I put on my TV to check out the daily news The things I see that have me confused eh? The number of crime and violence I see on the street Sometimes I'm frightened I cannot eat eh? Do you know what time it is? You guessed right, it's detox time again at Nirvana Natural Health Clinic, Detox Center, and Natural Health Store. Purchase our seven-day cleansing pack for only $500. Includes everything you need for a complete total body cleanse. Cleanse your blood, kidney, liver, and colon. This cleanse will help you lighten up and get rid of the excess. Also available are our special product detox combo pack for only $100. Try our single detox products starting from $40. Check us out now. Now, Belmont St. George's, close to the Fall Edge area, or call us on 231-6642-449-7753 or 418-7115. Nirvana Natural Health Clinic, Detox Center, and Natural Health Store. Detox, your way to health. Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform. Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Free delivery available within select locations or in-store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. Get Ruby Gas, get cooking. Ruby Gas, clean, safe, and reliable LPG 
is the perfect solution for your commercial and everyday needs. For cooking at home or barbecuing, choose Ruby Gas LPG cylinders. Available in a variety of sizes from 20 to 100 pound cylinders. Ruby Gas LPG. Clean, safe, reliable. Are you cooking with Ruby Gas? Get Rubis, get going. prevent cold and flu by washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. That's the time it takes to remove most germs. No soap and water? No worries when you've got alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Remember, if you have flu symptoms, do the right thing and stay at home to avoid giving it to others. Remember, you can be infectious up to a week after developing symptoms, so rest up and take it easy. Hi. I'm Francis Urias Peters. To really know who I am, you must look at the plays that I've written over the past 30 years because they reflect hard work, discipline, and my inner beliefs. Now, these values were shaped by my earlier bringing because I was always curious about my roots and my identity as a Caribbean man. Now, I'm a good listener, and K105 has always been a great source of education and entertainment. Now, while the station name may have changed over the years, it has always provided valuable information which enabled me as a playwright to document and to celebrate our history, our behavior, and our achievements. K105 is my choice. It's the national station. Welcome back to Good Morning Grenada. 15 minutes on to 8 o'clock. Talk the things Tuesday as we close off Grenada's 47th uh, Year of Independence celebrations. We are reflecting Talk the Things Tuesday. What has been the greatest accomplishment of the country for the past 47 years and one area you think needs improvement? Good morning, Cola. Good morning, Blossom. Good morning, how you do? Good enough. All right, go I'm, ahead. I'm taking in front of you because I know you would like me to ask this question. Now, um, the greatest intended um, achievement made by one of our prime minister is the, um, t I have asked for that, called many times and said this should happen, is the lowering, the intended lowering of his um, salary or his monthly allowance. And he asking the, um, the others to follow him. That's one of the greatest likely achievement to take place in the history of Grenada. And the next one is, um, I, do, I call this maybe this a failure. The, be, the worst failure that I've ever recorded for the 47 years is um, we, as your goodly gentleman says, we do not get the constitution. So I'm blaming these different um, prime ministers that passed through for the 47 years. It's time that we get the, the we make us independent. We become independent because we do not get the constitution that has been stated by your very good friend. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kola. Oh, let me go by WhatsApp. WhatsApp says food security and respect for fellow men. That's the greatest accomplishment. Uh, somebody else says, over the past few years, we have maintained quite a peaceful country. Our violent crime rate is quite low. I would like to see an end to the over-dependency on tourism. Good morning, caller. Good morning. Good morning. How you do? I'm okay. All right. Go ahead. 47 years are reversing. We had Expo. We had a water parade. We had, we had a farm in Manhattan. We had a sugar factory. 
we have soap factory, all them things gone. When people should be getting work now to do. So 47 years are reversing. Okay, thank you, Paula. Somebody on Facebook says the greatest achievement our media and the CPE program where the seniors were taught to read and write. Improvements needed is to get rid of the NNP once and for all because after 20 plus years in office under the NNP, St. Mark and St. Patrick are the highest in the poverty level. Good morning, Kola. Good morning, Mr. Gossam. Thanks for having me on the line. Good morning, Mr. Bido. How you do? Well, I just take me easy. All right. Take uh, it easy, Papa. Yes. Yeah, so, long, let's go ahead. There we go. Mm -hmm. No, it's too late to tell you happy Independence Day. I agree. Good. Because happy Independence. And not only you alone, for, for all the staff and so on, on Classic and GBN Network and, and special one to JC, because you work very hard Sunday. And I will not leave you out behind because you start to work since Friday to Saturday. Yes, yeah, so let me go now. Let me go. Um, the, uh, I'll deal with the improvement. The improvement may, and what I have in mind is that cut them trees on Granite and Lake, right? To have it a good tourist site so that we poor people could make a living like them taxi man. And especially tell Fabido, I, I don't know if he's still um, doing the hiking and so on, you know. So then that's the improvement, right? So then, and according to the last caller, you have a lot of things to improve. But you say, which place? You only say one, um, which one place for the improvement, right? So the one place I choose is Granite and Lake so we poor people could make a living with them tourists. And I have plenty more to say, but let me leave it for next time. No problem. Thank you so much, Mr. Bedo. So, I'll account to a caller one time, talk done. <laughs> talk done. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have a good day, Mr. Bedo. Talk done. There we go. Somebody on the WhatsApp. Somebody on WhatsApp says... Grenada's greatest achievement is the gains of the revolution. We now need to break off this common law relationship with the NNP. Its leadership still thinks they have the plan and title. Good morning, caller. Good morning. Good morning. How you do? Good, good. All right, go ahead. Yes, well, I would say big up to Grenada in terms of sports and culture. You know, we have had international winners in sports and culture. Uh, so this, uh, I find Grenada has been emerging quite high in this area. But in terms of for improvement, so hats off to Grenada on that. But in terms of, of improvement, we need to, in my opinion, focus a little more on the productive se sector, agriculture and manufacturing so that our import bill can be much lower than it is. You know, we can eat what we grow and grow what we eat. This is what I find we have to improve on. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Kola. I'm going to go by the WhatsApp. WhatsApp says... Doo -doo 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 -doo. WhatsApp says there are many, but the greatest accomplishment in 47 years is the lighting of the streets in Grenada. People before walked in darkness. The area for improvement is to remove the colonial behaviors that stymies progress. We must emancipate ourselves from mental slavery and all archaic laws and regulations that hinder progress. In doing so, it will give Grenada a competitive edge on the regional and global stage and make room for our talented people. Let me read another WhatsApp before I go back to the phone. Somebody says, Grenada's greatest achievement is the say... No, I read that one already. Who try to trick me? This one says, there are at least two... Stop. Grenada's achievements, opportunities for post-secondary education, that is schooling, needs improvement, health, general education, transparency and accountability in politics and government. There are at least two apps available that could solve the problem of people accessing others' information. They are TIDA and Kovlog, available on the App Store. I don't know the latter. I know TIDA. Uh, we've run advertisements here, which is, once you have the ability, that is, to use TIDA, you need data with Tita too, I guess that's hindering some people, isn't it? Good morning, caller. 
Good morning. Buenos dias. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. How you doing? Um, yeah. Um, but what I would like to see is um, hello. Yes, go ahead. Just uh, turn down the volume on your radio or the TV, whichever one you're listening or viewing on. Okay. Um, okay. Um, but uh, my contribution is that I would like to see improvement on the health centers and the um, and fire service, the fire trucks in in them police station. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. What? Hold on, let me check. YouTube. YouTube says. Oh, good morning, Phoebe from Trinidad, locked on. Somebody on WhatsApp. WhatsApp says biggest accomplishment is under Mars Bishop's reign. International airport, education, agro industries. One thing to improve agriculture, especially food producing animals. Another WhatsApper, hold on, the phone's not ringing right. Another WhatsApper says, Grenada's greatest achievement is the foundation laid down by founding father Eric Gary, infrastructure, education, and agriculture base. What we need to improve on is the human element of honesty, transparency, and accountability. It is clear that righteousness builds a nation. When there is a desire for uprightness, then our resources will be planned and properly managed to push the country forward. Good morning, caller. Good morning. Good morning, Blossom. How are you? Morning. I'm great. How are you do? I'm very well, thank you. Our greatest achievement is the importation of a lot of bacchanec and Chinese. Have a good day. Thank you. Let me tell you what. Oh, let us come up with these things. Lost the bacchanec. Catch me off guard. All right, let me go. What's up? <laughs> I love you, folks. I love you, folks. Somebody on WhatsApp says, Area of improvement. We need to improve on assisting the youth in further education. Bring back the scholarship desk and office and improve it so that students who wish to study at UWE, SGU, or wherever can apply for scholarships without difficulty instead of having to go to Parliament office to ask for a favor or to beg. This should be an automatic opportunity awarded to our youths, just like Trinidad has GATE. Another WhatsApper says, That's a shame that after 47 years, nothing of substance has been accomplished. We are importing bread, chicken, carrots. No chance for the farmers to make a living and for the country to grow. Good morning, caller. Morning, greetings, Sister Blossom. Greetings, how you do? And not too bad, happy independence. Many, Please. many operatives. All right. Now... We can't move on from where we, where we stuck right now just like that, excepting we recognize those that turn back the revolution. Sometimes we blame the wrong for the people for turning back the revolution. And the same people that turn back the revolution is the same people we're depending on to help us go forward. How that going to happen? What in the first place? Why then they had to turn the revolution back? It looked like a little small thing. It looked like a little uh, sandfly, but it's not a sandfly. It's bigger than a coconut. And we have to look from the inside outside and see who black outside and white inside. They are the same ones that have with country, have with world, have with people, with generation, the family divided. Look at a little place like Green, 136 square miles, about 100 right now, say about 150,000. Because the among the passport, we have more than we could ever think now. People in this country, and we're still taking our census, so we don't really know. We're running on, on, on air, you know? But Sister Blossom, we have to get our people mind back together because what happened to our people when our people mind was developing something come and stop it and we have to recognize i say the same ones and ones that stop it is the same ones and ones that want to make things happen today it cannot happen so accepting we rearrange the whole concept of how we politics and how we sons and daughters prepare themselves to go and take office and to do what they are doing here 
we have we can't stand we can't take that no more. Let we educate with little the youths and them take them from the from the the, 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 the first route and the shoot. Let's take them from there so we could the future generation could enjoy it. Give thanks, my sister. Bless. Give thanks, caller. Thank you very much. Let me read one more comment. Close my eye and just click because there are a few click. This person says, I think the day of the revolution was the greatest improvement we ever had, and it happened in three and a half years. And after that, we failed in many ways after that era because of lack of transparency. As another improvement needed is for Grenadians to write their own constitution by Grenadians for Grenadians. Thank you guys so much for participating in Talk the Things Tuesday. Talk the Things Tuesday as we uh, close off our celebrations that recognized Grenada's 47th year of independence. Let's continue to treat our country and do what we need to do to ensure that it gets to where we want to. It is our place, Grenadians, Grenada. Let's continue to push the country forward in whatever way we can. Have yourselves a safe and productive Tuesday. Let's get ready to join the BBC for the 8 a.m. newscast. Bye-bye, everybody. My people